flag up as they come into line. Just hopefully they're going to be a little bit sensible when they get to go around this hurdle. But um, yeah, there's going to be no hiding place here. That is for sure. James Stenning just going to help Alice Stevens a little bit. Otherwise, she could end up jumping hurdles. Right, they're in line now. Let's go and join John Hunt. And they're off and racing. Sent on their way for race two. It's the first steeplechase of the day as well. The Ascot race course supports Achieving for Children handicap chase. And Carton is right there in the early stages. One of four or five who are happy to get on with things. Godot made a mistake further down the field. And Hurler on the ditch, who's a horse who has front run before, is nowhere near the pace early. He's right at the back end of the field as Carton takes them now around the bend for the first time and on towards the second of their 17 fences. So Carton leading with Storming Home in second place, Sageburg County around the outside and Invincible Neo the Grey. Nicely positioned early and behind the leaders as they take the first of four fences down this section of the track. Up the inside, Dream in the Park Touchdown next. Wide on the track is Rock in a Storm next to Man Insane as they take fence number three. Uh, then Godot further back and Jack's touch was a bit deliberate at the back end of the field there. Hurler on the ditch remains towards the rear end of the field as well as they take the next and Invincible Neo, the one we lost there. Uh, unshipped David Noon and David had no chance of staying in the saddle though. The horse didn't fall, just made a bad mistake and unshipped David Noon. And so Invincible Neo out of the race and now Jack's touches last of all as they move round into the home straight for the first time. Up front then, Carton leading, storming home in second position. And these two have established a clear lead now over the rest of the field with King's Threshold making ground now into third place and Sageburg County in fourth. Rock in a Storm is sharing fifth with Dream in the Park towards the inside and Man Insane next as they take the first of the pair of fences in the home straight. Hurler on the ditch still off the pace with Godot and if you back Jack's, Jack's touch here things are looking grim because he's at the back of the field and not only that he is not travelling very well. The great loose horse leads them over the next fence and over that, with a clear advantage now, is Carton. Carton, the best turned out, Theo Gillard, four or five lengths clear of Storming Home in second place, King's Threshold and Sageburg County. They go four and five, followed by Dream in the Park up the inside with Rock in a Storm and Godot, Man Insane and Hurler on the ditch. And still last is Jack's Touch. They race away now, around the bend, heading away from the grandstands, and the next fence they take is number eight and Carton, still clear, coming down towards the next fence. Carton, up and over safely, landed some five lengths in advance of the chasers, with Stormy Home in second place still and King's Threshold up the inside third. Sageburg County is in fourth place as they take the next of their fences. Sageburg County followed by both Rock in a Storm and Dream in the Park and Hurler on the Ditch with Godot further back and Man Insane on the outside and still a gap to Jack's Touch who is still labouring in last place. Carton is still our clear leader although hit that fence quite hard. Still touched down with a seven length advantage with only the loose horse for company at the moment as Carton now leads them down towards the next. Seven or eight lengths clear from Storming Home in second. Sageburg County will take this next fence in third place, followed by King's Threshold, who is tracked by Godot. And then after those is Dream in the Park as they move on with Hurler on the ditch, still at the back end of the field. Rock in a Storm on the outside of them as well as Jack's Touch at the back end of the field still struggles on as they now move on. In fact, it's too much of a struggle for Jack's Touch, I think, and he's stopping very quickly and will be pulled up. So Jack's Touch effectively out of the race as they now move on towards the next fence. This is the sixth from the finish. And over still, travelling powerfully, the leader, Carton, who has been in front throughout the contest. Storming home is out jumped for second place by Sageburg County on the outside. Man Insane is creeping closer now as well towards the wide outer. Behind those, Dream in the Park is still going okay. And King's Threshold as well with a chance. Godot's getting himself into it as well. And at the back of the main group now is Hurler on the ditch. And they're clear now from Rock in a Storm, taking the next fence. And there, the leader was still Carton, but only just as they turn for home. 
On the outside is Storming Home. Then Sageburg County King's Threshold. Dream in the Park, Godo. They'll fancy their chances turning in. Man Insane is next and then Hurler on the ditch who's just about still in touch, about seven lengths off them. They come now down towards the second last fence. Storming Home comes through to take the lead. Storming Home at the second last, jumped it well. From in second, Cartone on the outside, Sageburg County, King's Threshold next, followed by Dream in the Park. And now they race on down towards the final fence. Storming Home out in front here. Keelan Woods needs a good jump, got it. Sageburg County and King's Threshold are coming at him either side. King's Threshold the finisher on the far rail King's Threshold coming strongly at Storming Home King's Threshold getting up King's Threshold got up in the last few strides to just tip Storming Home out of it and they were clear of Sageburg County who was close for third in company with Dream in the Park and Hurler on the ditch to the outside